This season of Pacific Run is holding nothing back. Let's meet the contestants who are about to take the ride of a lifetime. Former rugby star Patrick simply wrote, No known allergies cannot swim. Kiri, Team Tawaki. She broke hearts on date panic, climbed to the top single-handedly in Biggest Cheater, and along with partner Aaron, she's here to make her mark on the country she calls home. Next, Lena, Team Kia, international cryptology consultant by day, quote-unquote, none of your business the rest of the time. Delightful. Next up, a young woman after my own heart, my personal favorite, George Fain. Let's call that good. Okay, I'm Sunny. I'm the line producer. Everyone has a game phone. Keep an eye on your phone for updates from the announcer. When you get a medallion, bring it back to the stand. The producer areas are off limits. Very off limits. Your rules are in your tent. Read the rules. The first team to finish a stage gets the highest score. Second team gets the second highest and so on. Keep an eye out for extra missions. Sometimes the perks will be even better than the points. You can still win coming in second or third once in a while. My plan requires many specific talents. Whoa. You're not supposed to hear that. I have to go. And we're off. Time for our teams to build up some steam. Solve the rails puzzle to find your very own Pacific Run data chip. Guard it with your life. Your team chip will give you access to new locations to explore, puzzles to solve, and challenges to overcome. Time to get these tracks together. This looks useful. All right, let's start looking for those plants. You do the footwork and I'll research where they might be. Uh, what? Are you excited to be on Pacific Run? I suppose. Lean said we're gonna be on TV. And I said, should I pack? You weren't excited. I've been on TV before. You don't notice it when it's happening. It doesn't feel any different than regular life. It's like you make a tiny clone of yourself for people to yell at. I'll let you go. Talk to you another time.
What's up? Ready for this? You know it. What should we do first? Search for plants first, win second. Then gloating, if time permits. Sounds good. Looks like I'll need something to activate that.
Looks like I can use our points to buy things. Any good advice on where to look for the plants? I'm working on it. You do your thing. Bye-bye. See you later. Hi. How did you get into professional rugby? I played until I was really good. Is that all? I was facing down the river. What's that mean? When you're in the river, it's not a real river. I can't swim. I won't go in a real river. Okay, no one's gonna make you. My parents' students worry if they're in the river. It's supposed to push you to your self-discovery. Like destiny? Okay. My mother told me when you were in a river, you do what it says. Can you tell me a little more about your family? Why? I'm just naturally a curious person. Then you wouldn't fit in with my family. They all seem to know stuff. I never fit in. You're very vague about what your parents do. Why? I never thought to ask. It's just ideas. Ideas aren't dangerous until you try to bottle them up. But that's what people always do with ideas they think are dangerous. That's a profound thought. Please write it down. Do you think there's anything odd about this competition? Yes. What's that? That I'm here? I don't like competition. Weren't you a pro rugby player? Rugby is a sport. Right, a competitive sport. This is silly. All these rules. Too many rules. I've never met anyone who announces their profound thoughts so directly. Sure you have. They just say it's smarter and have better memories. Goodbye. Nice talking to you. This must be the show's confession booth. Hmm. Nah, I'll just stick with talking to myself. I need to find all of the differences. I should figure out what these letters spell. All right, I did it! Looks like I'll need a password. keep 50 points in reserve. Need to earn more points first. I can't go below 50. Oh. 
I was born to kayak, but which boat is the one for me? You can't just back away from this because you're scared. I'm not scared. Yes, you are. So what if I am? I'm not doing it. It's wrong. It's not wrong. You're afraid. You're just afraid. It's unnatural. This looks like some sort of code. It's locked. Cow, I have picked thou. All right, rope bridge. It looks pretty dangerous. You sure you want to do this? Uh, more than I've wanted to do anything. What is it? Is something wrong? Yes. George! Last time on Pacific Run, the world watched in stunned horror as tragedy struck George Fane. Today, a dark mood hangs over New Zealand as the remaining contestants grapple with the loss of such a brave young woman from this season's cast. Luckily for Miss Fane and our lawyers, she's resting comfortably and hopefully not feeling too litigious. I'm so glad you're okay. No matter what, we're going to win for you. That's sweet of you, but you don't need to. And we'll find out what happened with the bridge. Okay, that might be nice. I'm sorry you don't get to compete. I know how much you were looking forward to it. I'll get to watch, at least. Which reminds me, I have a producer feed. So, I just have to go to the television over there to hear them? Yeah, and hey, take this. Just in case you need to sneak back and catch up. It's a key to the producer area. Just don't get caught. Are you proposing I cheat? No, just... Something odd is going on here. We might need to bend the rules. Well, I do like bending rules. I know you do. Are you sure you want to help? This is a lot to do alone. Bess has volunteered to help. Bess? Bess Marvin. Say hello to our newest contestant, Bess Marvin. Let's hear what she's got to say for herself. I'm going to die here. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that, and we continue Pacific Run New Zealand. Have you been to the puzzle place? I have. That place is hilarious. What makes it hilarious? I know, right? I couldn't help overhear you fighting earlier. Lena wanted me to kayak. I hate water. Why? I don't have any body fat. I'm like a gorilla. I just sink to the bottom. You can't swim? Can gorillas swim? I don't know. Well, someone told me they can't. 
Who would make up something like that? Where were you when George was injured? With Lena. Where? Near the bridge. Did you see anyone near the bridge? Lena. Anyone else? No, just us. You don't fit the image I have of a professional athlete. People say that to me. You seem very humble. Most athletes are. Not the ones I've heard of. Exactly. That's good too. Write it down. Later. Goodbye. Hey there. What's it like dating a local celebrity? You don't need to add that local modifier. I guess I don't know how important rugby is here. Eating, sleeping, rugby. Some people have other hobbies, but that's the official lowdown. Are you a fan? Used to be, but then my favorite player retired. Wanna team up? Nah, I'm good. You and Patrick are a very unique couple. I know what you're getting at. He's got a depth most people don't see. Even he isn't aware of it sometimes. I can see something there. Don't get any ideas. Talk to you later. Bye. Hello. Whoa, you look worried. I look worried? I know you're upset, but everything will be fine. You do know that George is the cautious, capable one. That doesn't mean something bad is going to happen to you. Don't use your logic voice on me if you're not going to use your logic... logic. Fine. You might get hurt. Bess? Please go back to lying to me. Honestly, whatever happens, I've got your back. Later. Bye. Hey, come over here. I'm so sorry about George. Thanks. Looks like she's going to be okay. Same with Aaron. I heard she tried to save George. She did. Are you going home? No, going on alone. You? Bess is joining me. The blonde with the day glow camera? Good luck with that. Hey, Bess is great. Nancy, I'm teasing you. At the end of the day, this is a game. As much as I love trash talk, that's all it is. I have a proposal for you. I'm listening. You and I should form an alliance. Right, but at the end there can only be one winner. So, what's the overall plan? Yes, McLeod. But, I don't need to win. I need to stay around long enough to get screen time. I promised my agent I'd make it to the finals. You have an agent? Yep. Well, that's surprising, but I suppose I might be open to the thought of working together. Good. Here's something. Consider it a show of good faith. Sonny June, the producer, he's not supposed to be the one running the show. What do you mean? I heard a conference call. Apparently, he trashed the travel paperwork for the actual crew. For real? For real, yes. Okay, I'm ready to work with you. You won't regret this. You'll regret something else. What? As someone who grew up in New Zealand, do you think you have an unfair advantage? You know it. By the age of ten, every New Zealander knows how to find scattered medallion pieces. It's the national pastime. You sure it's not sarcasm? I like you. How did you get started in reality television? A dating show called Sleepless. Huh. Haven't heard of it. Basically, you'd go on a date after staying up for 24 hours straight. We went skiing, he died. What? Later, in a boat thing. Unrelated. But I met the producer of the show and we hit it off. And that reality became my reality. What did you do before reality TV? This, that. Aerial arts paid the bills. I can't say I know what that means. You know those arty French circuses? Oh, yeah. I did that. Never made the poster, but always made rent. Eventually. Ish. Why did you stop? One day, you put on the spandex and the mirror glass coated antlers and it hits you. What hits you? It's sort of a specific feeling. The day before, I saw myself as an artist. The next day, I saw myself as absurd. So I quit. Where were you right before the bridge collapsed? In the confessional booth. Can you prove that? Maybe Sonny can? Why did you dedicate your life to being on trashy TV? You play it fast and loose with the judgments, don't you? 
Sorry. You know what I mean. You're smart and talented. Pfft, talent? No. <laughs> I'm not talented. I was raised to believe I was, and so are all my classmates. Well, everyone is special in different ways. No, everyone's different. Very few people are special. And this is what led you to TV? This is what got me up every day at four to take the bus into the city as a kid. Modern dance? I was good. Not good enough. I've got the drive and all that business. Just not the talent. Just a lifetime of coming in second. TV gave you a way to win? It gave me something where it didn't matter either way. Something to burn off the energy. I'm a greyhound. Fame is a cruel sport. But I have a need to run. Talk to you later. Later. Hi. I heard a rumor that you're not supposed to be the one running the show. That's true. Well, what's the story? The main producer plane was diverted, and their passport paperwork was filed incorrectly. And who was behind that? Me. I was, uh, a little overconfident in my knowledge of airport codes. Can I see footage of the bridge collapse? The footage was, uh, destroyed, not in a fire, but in a magnetic thing. All of it? Yes. Is it okay if I check? No. Talk to you later. Cool, cool.
something interesting? I'm sorry. I'm looking at Sunny. Okay. Pretend I'm talking to you about something, but I'm not. Sure. We're talking about something else. I just want to look at him. He's like one of those tall, beautiful things they have in Italy. Not sure. A uh, sculpture? A barista. Those aren't limited to Italy. Pretty much anyone who... Yes, yes. Keep saying words. Bess. I can almost picture him with a puppy, and it's perfect. Bess? Shh! Bess! Bess, what? Yes, what? Do you want to maybe put that sunny enthusiasm to work? You know I do. Okay, go see if you can pry any information out of him. I'll bust out my feminine wiles. Is something bugging you? Yeah. Well, what? Sonny, there's something about him I can't figure out. I know, right? We've got to see what he's up to. We're on the same page. Good. But if we get caught in his tent, we'll be kicked out. If we get caught. Yeah, I'm sure this will end well for all involved. Goodbye. Get out of here, you old so-and-so.
so you paired up with Kiri. She seems to know what she's doing, so I could do worse. I suppose you could form an alliance with a pack of wild dogs. Do you think it's a bad idea for me to pair with Kiri? No, you should definitely do that. You're speaking as a competitor? As long as you're asking as a competitor. Do you live in New Zealand? I've got an apartment in DC, but mainly we travel. Patrick loves to come here as often as he can. We make time. I'll let you go. See you later. Oh, hey, Lena says I'm supposed to say that there was someone else near the bridge. Who? Lean, who am I supposed to say I saw? Oh. You were not supposed to say that? Nope. How long have you and Lena been together? I'm not the best with time. How's that? I don't know. Who invented the minute anyway? I have no idea. Maybe we should just go back to the drawing board. You and Lena seem to complement each other pretty well. What? Oh, like harmonious opposites? Yeah, I'm good at that. What do you think of Sonny? What? Do you think he's nice? Yeah. Or is he here for selfish reasons? Oh, yeah, that too. Both then? What? Does it strike you as strange that there have been so many accidents here? Yes. No. You can't say both. Oh, then I think I should sit this one out. Do you think I should trust Kiri? I trust most people. Me too. I know. I don't have any crackers. Crackers? I'm not sure what you're talking about. People like to talk even when I don't know what to say. So usually I share crackers. So it looks like we're talking, but we're not. I'll let you go. Goodbye. Can't check that off yet. What's up? So, how did you and your wiles do with Sonny? I froze. Nancy, that has never happened. He said, can I help you? And I just repeated it back, but louder. Oh, <laughs> that's not the best I know. New Zealand is doing something weird to me. I'm off my game. Maybe it'll go better next time. I will try again. The Marvin Mojo is legendary. Talk to you later. Get out of here, you old so-and-so. This puzzle is a tad bit insensitive, considering... Another exciting round comes to a close on Pacific Run New Zealand. Team Kia has returned the first medallion. Remaining teams still have a chance to place their medallions for second place. The brain from abroad easily holds down victory, while her partner continues to hold down a big old rock. In a surprise twist, by which I mean surprising to those of us who should be running the show, location producer Sunny June has decided to bend the rules for Team Tui, sparing them some elimination. So, Team Tui, enjoy the good luck. And Sunny June, don't make us come down there, young man. Team Matata was not so lucky and will be rowing the kayak of shame out to Loser Atoll. 
where they will sit among sheep and reflect on their elimination until the competition comes to a close. I need to put the plants in the correct vases. One medallion down. Go Team Tui! weird about this island. Calling it an island might be a bit dismissive. My powers are useless here. Powers? Oh, please. We all have skills. Yeah, so? So what if I call them powers? Read a book once in a while. Sorry. How did round two go with Sunny? I just walked right on past him. Like I needed to go look at a tree. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should try it. You want to explain that sound? Nope. But I do want to make it again. Go ahead. Later. Good luck. Don't look directly in his eyes. That's where his powers come from. Is everything okay? You seem to be having a hard time. Everything is wrong. I can't make friends. I get tongue-tied around Sunny. I don't even know how to hold a conversation for a minute. What if this is my new life? Well, everyone has off days. Nancy, you don't get it. This is all I have to offer. I'm not smart like you. I'm not sporty like George. I'm fun! That's it! And if that goes away, then what? Bez, snap out of it! I know! I'm trying! I just need to do something well. Just one thing. That's great. I've got something you can knock out of the park. Name it. Patrick, I need you to figure him out. I don't know if that is possible. I know, but talk to him. I'll do my best. Talk to you later. Goodbye. Hi. Talk to you later. Talk to you another time. There must be a way to block the camera's sight lines. Did that? Haven't done that. Nancy, you need to look into Sunny. I know, but I'm not sure where to start. Search his tent. Read everything you can find. Should I trust Kiri? I'll look into her history. I think I need your help researching. Can you do that? Nancy! I'm scandalized. It could get us kicked off the show. I'm not looking to cheat. But you want the goods on everyone who's here. I know. I started. Check my tablet for updates. I have a hard time staying... We've noticed a lack of any special skills in your application. I have skills. Could you list those skills? That's not something I have to do often. 
There's more than a competition here, but still, I'd like to win. Did you notice that Sunny's only focusing on some of the teams? That's done. You don't seem that upset about losing your teammate. Isn't that a touch suspicious? I'm not saying I cut the bridge, but if I did, wouldn't that be something now? Any insights about your fellow contestants you'd like to share? It's so easy to mess with Bess. It's not even worth it. Still. Let's leave Kiri to her thoughts of teasing fish in a barrel. You seem a little overqualified to be here. Nothing wrong with that. I'm not talking about that bridge. Leave it be. That poor girl got hurt, but not my fault. I was supposed to be there for the contest. Nancy teaming up with Kiri. Not a smart move, but I'll let it happen. There you have it. What do I do? This is where you share your darkest secrets. Oh, confessional booth. Okay. I stole some food from the craft table. Generally, people talk about other contestants. Oh, I'm supposed to talk about the other people. That's it. What? My name is Patrick. Uh, this is the confession booth. I used to be a pro rugby player for New Zealand. This is my first time on reality television. Not my first time in reality, or my first time on television. You seem pretty driven to win. I've won a lot of things. This couldn't hurt. You want me to talk about the waterfall? Yeah, we were there. She didn't want me to talk about it. I think she still doesn't. He's motivated and built as solid as the rocks in the box that is likely referenced when describing his smarts. I consider myself a student of the medium. Reality television is much maligned, but I maintain it is the height of the art. It's a visceral expression of human joy and loss and love, and I truly respect the form. I made a huge mistake. Can I make a call? I can. I'm just gonna go home. Is that okay? Why is New Zealand so far away from everything? I mean, I look at the map, and I start to panic. There's nowhere to go but New Zealand, and just water. So much ocean! Why am I here? <laughs> Look, I can't be popping in here. I need to be on my game, so, uh, let's just bang these out. I'm gonna run and gun here, and start tape. You're already rolling? Then let's go. All right, uh, Slate, Betrayal, Generic, Male. I can't believe he threw me under the bus. Slate, Betrayal, Generic, Female. I can't believe she threw me under the bus. Alright, Slate, Betrayal, Pending, my own. Look up. Those aren't stars. That's bus. I put you there. Alright, Slate, Confidence, General. I own it everything. Slate, Devastated. I can't even talk. I am going to win because I am an amazing singer. I oversoul like no one on this earth. Listen to this. Hey! You don't even know what note I was going for. I'm just that good. My name is Olivia. I am a former personal chef. I quit my job to come here. It was a risk, but I'm very confident we'll win. <laughs> Why me? We didn't even make the first round. I have to fly home to my family now, and they'll say, how, how did it go? And I'll say, oh, it was super fun, and I just didn't ruin my life. <laughs> Does anyone need a personal chef? I'm really good. I'm 86 years young, and I'm just tickled to be on the show. Now, is this going to be on streaming? My grandson loves streaming. Granddad, he says, I don't have time for commercials. I love to stream things. And I love my very long skateboard. What's this? Interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out what's inside of this. Knowing Sunny, I'd better figure out the combination before messing with that.
So Jin is Sunny's grandfather. Is this why Sunny's here? Can't check that off yet. Nancy! Bye-bye. Bye. Want to hear a joke? Sure. This zebra's standing in a pack. A herd? Pride? Collective. Herd is okay with me. Okay. This zebra's standing in a pack. A group. It's, it's all zebras. That's important. I'm there. And one zebra says, I'm hiding in plain sight. And this other zebra goes, oh no, that's my plan too. That's pretty good. Thanks. I don't get it. Good. I thought that was just me. Why did you tell me that zebra joke? Was just thinking about it. How we all just do the same thing, but don't know we do the same thing because we don't really know what we're doing. I guess you could say that. It's a profound thought. Can you write it down? Okay. Do you believe in aliens? Hmm. Why not? Is this the first time you've thought about it? Well, I've seen aliens, but believing in aliens seems more involved. You've seen aliens? Well, just a little. Goodbye. Talk to you another time. Have you been reading my papers? No. Whatever you do, don't read my papers. Why not? Because they're uh, fascinating and full of mystery. You're sending me mixed messages here. No, I am. Do you believe in aliens? I'm not like one of those Area 51 types. But why not? Crazier things have happened. Crazier things than aliens existing? Hmm. Well, in reality, Everything's crazy. Take a word and say it 50 times in a row, and at some point you'll be like, what's that sound I'm making? What's it mean? Why don't I speak my own language? Why did I borrow this one? If the word exists, then what's the point of me repeating them? So, in closing, all y'all animals and mountains equally unlikely and insane. That's an interesting way of looking at things. Is it? I think it's scary, but then hilarious, and then I forget the whole thing. So, am I getting kicked off the show? Maybe. You want something from me, don't you? Possibly. I'll let you go. Bye. Let's see if I can find all the words.
All done. Doubtful sound. That must be the password to the hatch. Who would you like to call? Jamila, 020-496-0423. Who is this? Nancy. Nancy who? Close. It's Nancy Drew. Oh, I remember you. From Egypt. That's right. Hold on. Where are you calling from? New Zealand. So Sunny found you? It would appear so, yeah. Are you in any immediate danger? No. Be less certain about that. I'm glad you're doing okay. At least until now. You wouldn't know the combination to Sunny's footlocker, would you? Take the number from the UFO, the sum of the constellation pamphlet numbers, and the number of stars that look like a hat. Then divide by the number of the chapter on testers. You remember that, but not the combination? I remember both. But if you're going to snoop on Sonny, you'd better be able to explain how you solved that. Otherwise, he'll know I helped. Can I call you back? Of course. I need your help. That you do. I hope it's enough. Do you have any clue what Sonny's up to? Well, yes and no. Give me the yes. He's trying to follow up on his grandfather's wishes. Okay, what's the no? I'm not sure what he's after. I believe it's an artifact. What kind? Something very important to the Anunnaki. Something his grandfather, Jin, was desperate to get his hands on. That's all I know. Jin founded Spied. He's hard to track down, but he's an expert on relics and ancient sites. And aliens. Do you think Sonny could be behind George's injury? I hope not. Hope? Not. But he could have been? He could. But I hope not. Do you work for Spide? I suppose I do, unofficially. As a teacher? Yes, although between you and me, the lessons are all rubbish. Well then why teach? It's a cover. Most places that teach are a cover. A cover? For what? For the actual learning that goes on behind the scenes. I feel bad for the students. We just make things up about aliens while they take notes or nod off. But when they leave, that's when the interesting work begins. What work? We each have our interests. I specialize in artifacts, as does Sunny. Someday you should meet everyone. You'd fit right in. Explain this whole Anunnaki thing to me. It's easy, but it's crazy. Do your worst. Spy believes that there is a community like the United Nations, but instead of countries, it's planets galaxies. So it's the UN, but more fun. Less fun. The Earth is in a very bad way right now. That does seem to be the main talking point these days. Because it's true. We need help. We can't go it alone. I'm pretty sure we can. As was I. We have everything we need, right? We're smart. We're strong. We adapt. I sense a... But. Yes, there is. But we don't know how to work together. And the Galactic Parliament doesn't like this. Exactly. But do us both a favor. Be nicer? Be realistic. Doesn't matter if any of this is real. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Not if pretending it's true makes the world better. So do you believe in Spide or not? Don't push me to say. Watch what I do and you'll see your answer. Later. Be safe, Nancy. Still have to, still, that's done. Nancy Drew. Where does the nickname Sunny come from? My grandfather. Can you tell me a little about him? Sleuth is such a weird word. What? Anyway, his name's Jim. He's an explorer, the founder of Spied. Why did you call me a sleuth? You're the only contestant who doesn't only ask me about points. So why aliens? Aliens are here. We're all aliens. Earth life started with bacteria on asteroids. In a way, we're all space mutts. I know you're worried about the future of Earth. I think we'll be fine on our own. 
you and me may be, humans in general may be, but we're losing so many species so fast. It's not their fault we're here. What's the story with the machine you want George to build? It's for my science fair. <laughs> that seems unlikely. I wasn't prepared to lie. I don't do my best work under pressure. I bet Spide is one of those top secret members only clubs, right? But you're in luck. You've already been a member for a few years. Are most of your members unaware of their membership? Yeah, that's like issue one on the list of things to fix, though. So, what are the perks of membership? Surprises. Like this one. Surprise! Your life is dangerous now. I can make you a badge if you want. Isn't hijacking a television show kind of a really terrible idea? But so is never reaching out toward the fantastic. I'll let you go. See ya. Nancy, you look guilty. <laughs> what do you mean? Who did you call? Jamila. So, is she a New Zealand expert now? No, mainly she's still interested in Sunny. That's fine. No need to use our one call wisely. I mean, how hard can it be to learn about an entire country? There's so little of it. You really made a good choice there. Do you want to hear what she said? Actually, yes, but can I still be angry? She thinks Sunny has brought us together to help him contact aliens. Well, that is odd. I'll let you go. Get out of here, you old so-and-so. I saw you in the out-of-bounds area. Are you sure? What's the game? What are you after? Just visiting George. That might be true. So I'll let it slide, for now, if you do me a favor. What's that? Ask Sonny if this means anything to him. See how he reacts. Don't tell him it came from me. How long have you and Patrick been together? Um, a while. Two years, four months. Eight, no. Four years. No. Seems right. How did you and Patrick get together? Oh, I don't remember. He's more of the romantic one. Congratulations on winning the stage. Thanks. Sorry things didn't go your way. I'm sure you'll turn it around. How goes it? Do you believe in aliens? Next question. Is that a no? If you have to ask, the answer is no. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey there. Talk to you later. Bye. Lena saw you sneaking into the off-limits area. Is she going to tell on us? She was back there too. Oh, interesting. You're very honest. Oh. That means I'm gonna get in an argument later. Bye-bye. Talk to you another time. Nancy Drew. Lena wanted me to show you this comic. Did you leave it for her to find? Yeah. Was it some sort of message? Wouldn't that be cool? I've got something for you. Do you like comics? Do you? I do. Very much. The good ones teach us so much about ourselves. Tell me about Jin, your grandfather. 
I didn't leave that name just lying around for you to trip on. You're reading my things. Let's say I was. Are we saying it together, or is this a competition to see who can say it better? Can you focus? Nope. You're just afraid I'll win. Sonny, I read your grandfather's letter. I know. Can you talk to me about that? I wanted you to read it. Why? I need your help. With what? But some things I might have to send you when you're not next to me. So you were pretty close to your grandfather? Oh yeah, he's sort of my hero. But everyone else just seems embarrassed by him. A lot of the family won't use her last name. Huh, that's extreme. Why would they do that? Because he's different. Are you leaving the comics for me to find? I think the line between something existing and something waiting to be found is smudgy in your case. <sighs> You're not the first to say that. Other people say smudgy? You know a lot about me, and everyone else here, it seems. You're interesting. I'll let you go. See ya. Can't check that off yet. This looks like the spot from the comic. I should investigate. Interesting. Looks like I could open this if I found the right key. Haven't done that. Need to get the totals to add up to 20. Nancy! I'll let you go. Goodbye. This must be the sheep to shear. I need to get the shearing machine powered on and working. The blades on the shearing machine need to be replaced. I can handle that. I need a key to get this working.
Hmm. The sharing motor must be jammed. Hmm. The sharing motor must be jammed. I need to get all of the blades flat. Did it! This must be where the bag of wool needs to go. Where's my medallion? Looks like someone got here first. Now on Pacific Run, New Zealand. They say it's a poor shepherd who blames his sheep. But even if not one contestant located a single sheep, congratulations, Team Kia. Remaining teams still have a chance to place their medallions for second place, except teams Kakoa and Korea Ria, who have been shorn from the competition and must now flock to the shameful shores of Loser Atoll. Still have to do that. Nancy. Did you take our medallion? Hmm. Right. Section 2, middle paragraph. No player shall remove a medallion in the course of an active competition segment. So, that's a no? Did you not read the rules? I skimmed. You want a free tip? Is there such a thing? Only when it doesn't matter. Here's how you win anything. Read the rules. Losers see rules as limitations. Winners see rules as a direct path to winning. I'll keep that in mind. Ten bucks says you'll never read the rules. Hmm. Goodbye. Goodbye. That's not a good idea. What's up? I need your help distracting Patrick. Got it. What's up, my man? Oh, hello. That's a great rock. Am I right? I'm right. How are things? I'd better figure out the combination first. Hmm, I think I need more information to crack this code. These arrows look just like what I saw on Lena's clipboard. in tree? Hmm, I'll have to check that out. I'm gonna go. I feel like we had more interesting conversations when I was a boy. What do you mean, other skills? That's the point of this show, right? What? What do you mean that's a different show? Why are you talking to me on this earpiece? You better show yourself. So I can yell at you to your face, that's why. Low? Low? That best girl likes to talk. You'd think the two of us together would make up one conversation. Cause I don't talk much. But she still overflows a bit. I'm running out of crackers. 
Oh, Nancy? Yeah, she seems nice. Except for the part where she stole stuff from our tent. Nancy teaming up with you. Your background is a bit top secret. Why is that? I'm not a villain. I just want to win. Another wonderful brick wall impression, Lena. What brought you back to reality TV? There are lots of things I want. I want my own fragrance line. K, a sensation of elegance. My own line of ghost-written cookbooks. That one famous actually writes their own book. I just want to hold a lasagna up to the camera and smile about money. That's the dream, right? And in sleep, what endorsement deals may come? I was pretty scrambled after the accident and apparently very excited about signing my cast. I trust you're more ready now. Let's not have a repeat of last time. I wasn't exactly prepared. Now you are, so just name one skill. I'm pretty good at people things. Do you understand that words are typically used to clarify or explain ideas? Yes, thank you, I do. Maybe this will help explain the plan Sunny accidentally mentioned. Sunny's focusing on a small group of us. Why? I'm gonna need a professional to crack this. Can't check, can't check, still have to do that. Hi. You've done a lot of reality television. That's a true statement. Why? I tried reality by itself, but no one pays you or pays attention to you. So, I used TV to fix that problem. So, reality television was the next logical step? As good as any other. At this point, is this almost like a job for you? Entirely. Have you noticed anything odd about Sunny? Other than the fact that he's taken the show hostage? Yes. Okay, what have you noticed? The talking to no one was disturbing at first, but I grew accustomed to that. What really got me was the talking to the animals. Huh? Yeah, but not in a cute way. In a sad, terrifying, this is foreshadowing way. What was he saying? What was the content of his human to animal communication? Yeah, I guess that is what I'm asking. It was mostly apologies. What do you think Sunny is trying to do with the competition? Fly it into orbit? That's my best guess. Sunny be crazy. What do you think about Patrick? Ask me again when he wakes up. Assuming that will ever happen. Any breakthroughs in the competition? Why would I tell you about that? The spirit of cooperation. So far, things have been pretty one-sided. Um, how's this? The password to the hatch is doubtful sound. Now that is useful. Here, this should help. Thanks. George thinks she saw someone cutting the bridge. Did she see what he looked like? What makes you so sure it's a man? A working knowledge of history and humanity. Either way, she really couldn't tell. Any chance it's just her imagination? Yeah, but at the same time, shows like this have so many safety regulations. Regulations, sure. But don't forget that regulations matter less when the producer's a lunatic. Have you found any comics lying around? No, why? Is that a bonus? Not that I think. But you're interested in them. I'm interested in everything. Oh, no, you're not. 
Well, most things. Name 50. All right, I'm a little interested in the comics. Why? They seem related to Sunny. Hmm. Goodbye. Bye. Hi. Someone took our medallion. I know. Can you help me figure out what to do? I could. I won't. Talk to you later. Bye. You know, you won't get away with bending the rules forever. You talked to Sonny? I did. He's, uh, looking into it. Well done. I'll toast your closing of a loophole with the opening of a new loophole. That feels a lot like cheating to me. Me too. I'm sensing that this is your main strategy. In part, I really do like a fair fight. But I also like winning. I'm just giving myself enough room to decide a path later. Do yourself a favor and read the rules. I took your advice and read the rules. Oh yeah? In the case of a direct tie, what are the five possible tiebreak activities? In case of a tie, there's a sudden death round. <laughs> Good luck out there, tiger. I found a really difficult code. Could you help me break it? No. I could make it worth your while. How about if I give you a points card? You have that? No, but I'm sure Bess could find one for me. Let me see it. Can I trust you not to just run off with this? Just let me read it. I promise you'll get it back. Have you met Jin, Sonny's grandfather? Yes. How did you know? I think this might be his code. I was hoping you could shed some light on your connection to him. Interesting. I can't. How did you meet Jin? I work with an orchestra. It's one of my hobbies. And he played in the orchestra? No. He brought an instrument, but he couldn't play. He'd just pretend. Okay... When life hands you an adorable old man pretending to play trumpet, you enjoy it. He was using the orchestra as a cover? For what? The pool shared a hallway with a rare book room. I caught him sneaking in, but I couldn't tease out why. What do you do when you're not on TV? Lots of freelance work in the information sector. What kind? My resume is almost entirely acronyms at this point. I can't really disclose most of my work. Oh, sounds intriguing. Rarely, but on those rare days. What were you doing near the bridge before it collapsed? I was looking for a fern like we were supposed to. My friend almost died. If you had anything to do with it... You'll what? I don't know. I didn't hurt your friend. Neither did Patrick. Is there anything I can help with? I need you to find a points card for Lena. Consider it done. How did it go with Patrick? That man is an enigma. In what way? Does it matter? I guess not. He's so calm, I forget myself. It's like that time I met a cow. <laughs> I need more information than that. Dave dragged me to the fair, remember him? Yeah. It was a fair, you know, so animals, scam artists, flirting with food poisoning. But then I found myself looking at a cow, and she was looking at me, and we had a really long cow-slash-human moment. We got into not a staring contest, more of a staring cooperation. I think I was there for, like, hours. Not thinking, not wanting anything, just being and smelling, let's be honest. So, Patrick is a cow. Great. Just the profound part of cows and the not-super-smart part of cows. Talk to you later. Get out of here, you old so-and-so. Your friend Bess thinks she's in love with Sonny. Oh yeah, I know. She isn't. What makes you the expert? My face has been on cereal boxes, so I have been the subject of infatuation. My parents teach that love is calm and understanding. If that's true, infatuation is love plus bees. A lot of bees. I'll pass that along to Bess. You know they say bees communicate by dancing? Yeah. Yeah what? It's great! I'm surprised you don't like rules. Lena seems to be very by the book. What book? It's an expression. I know, but have you ever thought about which book it means? The rule book, I guess. I bet that's the book that Lena's obsessed with. She's obsessed with a book. 
Interesting. Well, that's why we're here. What do you mean? If you don't know but you care, that means I'm not supposed to say. Goodbye. Goodbye. Did that. Haven't done that. Check. Can't check that off yet. I know what Sonny's up to. What? You found a comic, haven't you? Pieces? Of course, pieces. Good. That confirms things. What are they from? Sonny's grandfather drew these books for him. There was something to entertain him when he was sick. Why do they matter now? Sonny thinks these comics are like maps. Clues he needs to follow. Why? I don't know if you remember, but a long time ago we talked about the Anunnaki. Right. Ask him. He'll laugh it off. When he does, tell him Jamila says hi. See what happens. Do you think it's true Sonny hijacked the crew of the show? Off the record? Would anyone believe the record? Fair point. Yes, he did. I told him not to. Wait, you knew he was hijacking the show? Sonny and I still work together quite a bit. He trusts me to not trust him. That's in anticipation of your next question. About why you'd trust Sonny? That's the one. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if I believe exactly what he believes in, but I do believe he believes it, and I believe in him. That's a bit circular for my taste. Mine too. Nancy, I owe you my loyalty. I know you can keep calm under pressure. That's what people say before introducing more pressure. Well, here's some more pressure. I don't know if Sonny's finally lost it. More concerning, though. More concerning than the show being led by a crazy person? Sonny doesn't know if he's lost it. What? Yeah, what indeed? He doesn't know if he trusts his grandfather. He's here on his grandfather's orders. To do what? He won't say. But the night before he left, he called me. He was talking a mile a minute. He said he was going to do something there was no turning back from. Something bad? Something where people could get hurt. Maybe even die. You told him to stop, right? Of course. And? And that's when things ended up in the frightening territory. He stopped talking. He was on the other end of the phone, just dead quiet. Why was he so upset? That's what I asked. And? He said he'd already put the gears in motion as the story demands. What is Jin's obsession with etudes about? He believes that each major development in humanity is a lesson. We did a great deal of sitting about at first until the first tool was invented, and then that led to agriculture, but also a great deal of bashing each other about the head. And then from that point on, we developed newer and more powerful technologies. Jin believes we were visited before each new advancement, and given a lesson to perfect. That's the etude? So he says. He believes each life is like that too. That we each have a lesson to perfect. That's the goal, to find your own song and play it perfectly. What's the story with Sonny and his grandfather? Jin has spent his life chasing after these big adventures. And it seems that his daughter, Sonny's mom, felt a little left behind. She didn't want him around Sonny when he was younger. Didn't want him to get hurt by Jin suddenly taking off. Okay. 
Then one day, Sonny gets sick, really bad. He's in bed for forever. Jin comes to be there for the family, and he tells Sonny these stories, gives him these comics he drew for him. So that year, they're the best of friends. And then? Sonny gets better, Jin moves on. Sonny's mum tells him that his grandfather's stories were nice, but they were just stories. He doesn't believe that? He does. Until one day, on a whim, he visits one of the locations from the comic. What does he find? Well, you'll need to ask him. How did Sonny know who would make it through the competition? Did you see all the rest of the competition? Well, not really. No offense, but it's not shocking who is left over. The deck was stacked in your favor. What do you mean by the deck being stacked in our favor? Sonny wanted all of you to stay through the competition because you all have a certain skill. So I'm what? The person with the questions? Or the person who finds the answers. And Lena? This I know. She's a linguist and a code breaker. Sonny wants her in case he actually finds something. Kiri, what's she here for? I don't know anything about her. Look at what she's good at. Look at Sonny's notes in the comic. What about Patrick? Indeed. Any clue? He's my inclusion. Accidentally. Why? We met back when I was in the Order. You did? He and his team were there for a playoff game of sorts. I found him lost in the desert. What was he doing? Naturally, that's what I asked. You know what he said? What? I'm lost in the desert. Isn't that funny? Yeah, I can see him saying that. I asked him if he was worried about being lost. He told me that he had just lost his river, but soon he'd find it again, and he'd follow it where it led. He's really very calm. It's odd. Not really odd. It turns out his parents are these gurus of sort. They raised him to join them in their teaching, but he said he felt the world pulling him in another direction. The middle of a desert? Apparently, right? I thought it was pretty funny, so I told Sonny about him. And? Sonny nearly punched a hole in the sky, he was so excited. Bring him to me, he's the last one! He kept saying that. When was this? Right before we met. I imagine that's when his plan started. So, why do you trust Sonny so much? He's the one who gave me the tip about the final dig site. He did? Yes. He brought you in as well. What? That was your test. I passed, I presume? Maybe. Remember, Sonny wants you to act as you are, not as you could be. I don't know if I understand. It means that he studied you. He wants you to act as you are. He's not hoping you suddenly become a more special version of yourself. He's building his orchestra. You're an instrument. All of you are. Look at the comic. Look at the people around you. You said, as the story demands. What does that mean? Wouldn't I like to know? You didn't ask any follow-up questions? Please, Nancy. Of course I did. Problem was that the answers were very confusing. Do you remember what he said? Yes, but he told me stories. That's not how people answer questions. What were the stories about? His grandfather. It didn't make any sense, Nancy. I'm so sorry. Later. Talk to you when I can. It's been fun, but I'm turning against you now. Okay, why? I am dissolving this partnership. You are no longer needed. <laughs> Thanks for the notice, I guess. Do you mind if I play it a bit different for the camera? Could not care less. Excellent. Just go easy on Bess. Oh, sure thing. Thanks. Uh, well, it's been fun, I guess. Fair warning. Things will be different next time we talk. Got it. Goodbye. Later. Hi. Jamila says hi, by the way. Tell her I say hi. I was expecting more of a reaction. Oh no, not Jamila! Tell her I say hi, though! Nancy Drew. I think you're the one who picked this season's cast. If I picked the cast, it would have been a little bit more colorful. And it would have speakers and moving parts. Wait, nope. That's the opposite of what a cast should do. You're talking about George's cast. And the best part is, I totally know what you meant. Do you have any proof aliens exist? Aside from this awesome belt I had made? Yes, aside from the belt. Should I float the boots? I won't. Are you and Jamila friends? 
Of course. You teach together at Spide? There's a position for you, too, if you'd ever like to join in. I'll consider it. Ah, no, you won't. But behind the teaching at Spide, we're doing some interesting research. About what? All things forgotten, never known, odd, and Jamila demands proper archaeology. You could add what you'd like to. I'll let you go. Cool, cool. Can't check that off yet. I think it's time for me to prove myself. How so? Whatever the next challenge is, I'm going to master it. <laughs> you sure? Positive. Why are you always trying to distract me? What makes you say that? Say what? About distracting you? What? No, wait. No, see? That's, that's what I mean. Hey, I know how you found the medallion. Yeah? I hid a lot of medallions and left a lot of codes behind. It was a test. Oh yeah? What do I get for passing? I haven't decided yet. And stay out of my things. You moved our medallion. Yes. I thought you were the one who followed all the rules. And I did. Paragraph titled medallions third line down. Players may not remove the medallions of the opposing team. Yes, and that's the rule you broke. Remove. I moved the medallion only once. You're kidding me. Take it up with the producer if you'd like. What made you decide to sign up for the show? I'm a Pacific Run super fan. I've watched all the seasons multiple times. Really? You seem very smart. Oh, please with that. I spend my day being smart. At night, show me a person falling down and give me some popcorn. What's your favorite season of Pacific Run? Three, hands down. Okay, your favorite competitor? Richard. Last name? Swimburger. What did he look like? A man. I'm bored. This is boring. Is it boring? Or is it true that you weren't being honest about being a fan? Who would lie about loving reality TV? I'll let you go. Bye. Your friend Bess seems to be going through some sort of crisis. I know. It's not great. She called it a Bessistential crisis. What's that? It's an expression she made up. Someone needs to cheer her up. I know. I just don't know how. Leave it to me. That's nice of you. What's your angle? Lena wants me to spy on you. It's like two birds in the bush. I think that's two birds with one stone. Big stone. Or small birds. Or they're in a line. Bye-bye. Nice talking to you. Good news. You won the task? Nope. Just trying to be an optimist. I'm sorry, Nancy. I really thought I could do it. Did you find a points card? Yes, I did. All right, thanks. Hopefully Lena cracked that code. This is weird, yes? You mean Lena helping us out? I only ask because you have thrown my barometer way off. You may blame me, but I blame Sunny. What do you think it means? If Sunny brought her here because she cracks codes, then maybe he needs help? But in summary, I have no idea. Thanks for distracting Patrick. I actually like doing it. Yeah? He's like my spirit animal. He's a person and also alive. I know, but he's so... calm. Do you know that his parents and their parents going back were some sort of mystical teachers? I gathered something like that. He wouldn't talk about it, but it's like I stood next to him and we didn't say anything. We had crackers. I'll let you go. Get out of here, you old so-and-so. Nancy. I have a points card. Any chance you'd consider trading something else? Oh, girl. Oh, girl. I'm here to win. Worth a shot. Here's a card. Here. Hey. Yeah? There's something I remember. About Sonny's grandfather. Really? Yes. When I caught him sneaking into the rare book room, I asked him why. He said, this is my etude. What does that mean? It's a type of musical composition. It's intended to teach a skill. To improve a certain technique, 
I don't know how to take that. Right. I was more amused than anything, so I said, I suppose mine is chasing off old fakers. And? He said, no, it's better than that. Sonny will tell you. I just assumed that was some inscrutable old man joke, but then Sonny exists. Did you ever find out what Jin was looking for in the rare book room? I noticed him sneak out of a rehearsal, so I followed him. When I cornered him, he dropped a book. What kind of book? It was amazing. It had all of these rare codices, like the Emerald Tablet, but I could understand it. What was it about? These artifacts, it seemed. He took it, ran off. I never heard from him again, until one day I got a note. It simply said, I know you understood. Sorry I was bad at the trumpet. Do you believe that? I don't believe anything. I take evidence and I test it. And so far the tests, yeah, I believe it. Do you think your need to figure out riddles is what drew you to Patrick? No, I don't. Wait, wait, that's it. Oh, this explains everything. Oh no, this explains everything. I need to leave him. Hang on, that's not what I meant. I'm looking for numbers in an empty set. There's no solution. The only way to win is not to play. Are you toying with me? Yeah. Patrick may not be the sharpest knife in the drawer, but when has something sharp ever felt like home? Anyway, there's more than being smart. Later. Bye. Keep sending Bess to talk to Patrick. Okay, why? It seems good for her. And I've been listening to the show audio. And? There's something puzzling about him. Lena knew Sonny's grandfather. Whoa. That's not a coincidence. Right. I'll look into it. So, Carrie turned on us. Eh, who needs some weird French circus contortionist? I mean, it's not like we need to... What? Get into an impossibly small space no one else could reach? Which can come in handy when you're looking for hidden artifacts. I know! Maybe that's why she's here. Carrie thinks Sunny hijacked the show. That would make sense. How so? Well, you know I'm a huge Pacific Run fan, and I can tell you that this season is way off. I mean, first the crew is non-existent, and normally you travel the whole Pacific. Hence the name. Why are we focused on this one area? I don't know. Should we be worried? A little. All right. I keep finding these comics. I think Sunny wants you to read them. I'm still not making any progress with who cut the bridge. That's really good. Sorry, I'm just a little sleepy. think you are. What? I know who I am. I am Queen Kiri and this is my court. You best stroll on out, lest you want to roll on out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just need you to tell me something. What did you just say to me? I think you better say it again because it sounded like you just said you need me to tell you something. This is my house, this is my country, and I'm going to win. Kiri. So, what's your deal? I can't tell where you really stand. I could say the same thing for you. Could you? Save it for the confessional, kid. Hey, you. Is this your first time producing a TV show? Yep. It is not going well. When will the rest of the production team arrive? That's up to the embassy now. Embassy? Yeah, this job isn't going on my resume. So, what exactly do you do as a producer? No clue! You don't seem very concerned about the show. I'm not. Why are you here? Do you know how far broadcast signals can travel in space? Not exactly. Hmm. I should double check. Later. See ya. That's done. Haven't done that. I wonder 
what's down there. Need to find a way to unlock this hatch. I need to match that image in order to charge the claw. It's about time I got to pilot a sub. Needs a charge. Looks like it needs a charge.
That's the last one. Time to head in. I did it! Haven't done that. Time to race! What else would you expect from the fastest paddle in the West? Looks like each opening needs a complete fan in order to get the sluice working. Let's see if I can light this lantern. There's a key in there. I need to place all the ships in the grid according to the numbers. All right, I did it! What is this? Is this one of the relics Sonny's looking for? Check. Can't check that off yet. Did that. Me? 
Nancy, Sunny gave me your quest. My quest? Yeah, your extra event that gives us bonus points. What is it? Turtle. Turtle? Yeah, turtle. There has to be more than that. That's all he said. I don't get it. Well, I don't get it either. So now it's yours. No tag backs. There's got to be more to it than that. Bess? You've reached the voicemail for Bess Marvin. She has left this conversation due to confusion. Nancy Drew. What does turtle mean? Um, what? Maybe you should ask Patrick that. Bess said my quest was turtle. Oh, wait, all she told you was literally just turtle? Yes. She left out a lot of words. She did seem a bit frazzled. Stressed. You do know she's got a crush on you, yeah? That explains the photo edit she made of me holding a puppy. Sorta. It sorta explains that. Be nice to her. Bess is adorable, and she adores you. I see why you care about her, and of course I'll be nice. She's a terrible messenger, though. Sometimes. Your side quest is to discover the mysterious inner life of the leatherback... Turtle. <laughs> wow, she left a lot of that out. Great. Now get turtling. Check your phone for a very special update from the show. Bye bye. Bye. I am terrified of Lena. That is reasonable. Why does Patrick put up with her? Why does anyone put up with anyone? Guess eating alone is sad? Is this normal best speaking or pining for Sunny Bess? Normal Bess is dead. It's just me, Tragic Bess, watching my inbox, even though I know he doesn't have my email. Later. Goodbye. Hey there. Bye bye. Bye. Your friend was trying to figure me out. What makes you say that? A feeling, I guess. She did. Did what? Figure me out. She just doesn't think so. There's not much there. I'm. Pending a dud or something. You said you were a dud. Why? My family. They're all very different than me. That doesn't make you a dud, just makes you different. They're all very wise and accomplished. What did they do? Teach. What subjects? No, not like school. I guess I don't understand. They belong to an order. They teach people how to not exist. Or well, not want, maybe. I tried to understand it, but no luck. So the teaching didn't appeal to you? How can anyone teach? There's too much to know. Goodbye. Talk to you another time. Okay. I'm awake. I'm awake. Ooh. to do that. Now to figure out what the comic meant.
this means. Hey, you. Goodbye. Bye. Doesn't look like it's part of the competition. Hmm. Uh oh. Need to get back in and fast. Check. Still have to do that. Hmm. Hey, you. Goodbye. Bye. I need to label the sheep correctly according to their breeds and the farmer name. you jock Stewart now to bring you home you're watching Pacific run if you're just tuning in you've missed a stunning solo victory Kiri has placed her medallion first she may be just one woman but she's one woman you don't want to mess with which is exactly what two more teams discover as they learn to ask not for whom the loser atolls. It atolls for Hee Hee and Cocoa. What's up? Goodbye. Get out of here, you old so-and-so. Uh, what? Goodbye. Goodbye. Hi. Has Sonny been visiting you? Yes, um, Nancy. He wants me to help him build a machine. Now that is interesting. Or review blueprints, I guess it's confusing. Keep working on it. Maybe it'll explain what he's up to. Got it. Goodbye. Come back, just don't get caught. Oh, no, she absolutely stole the medallion. But technically, it's not against the rules. Yo, Sonny, I cracked that code of yours. You're here to find that artifact? Must be very valuable for you to risk everything. Make sure he sees this, okay? Oh, at this point, we've given up trying to keep this season on the rails. There have been some allegations. Of course I cheat. A stunning display of efficiency from Kiri, showing why she's our editor's favorite. 
At Pacific Run, we rarely air our dirty laundry, but desperate times call for ratings grabbing details. We've lost control of this production to producer Sonny June. It appears he's hijacked the show to suit his own bizarre goals. And while we're sending a team to step in, it's his show to run until things settle down. So good luck, contestants. Really, good luck. You are in serious trouble. It'll be a miracle if you survive. And a sweeps week miracle if you don't. So we're good. You're clearly infatuated with Sonny. Too bad about that. It's not in the stars, so to speak. Why are you being like this? Why are you being so evasive? I'm not on trial here. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Team Tui's best Marvin. Not on trial. Can't check that off yet. The fish figurine goes here. Done that. What's up? I'll let you go. Get out of here, you old so and so. Did that. Hey, you. Talk to you later. Cool, cool. Hi. Talk to you later. Bye. Does the word etude mean anything to you? So you know the spied passphrase. What did you find out? Passphrase? Never mind. I'll change it by the time we're off this call. Already done. All right, beyond the passphrase, I just missed the boat on... I'm so sorry to not include you, but it's not my call. Aside from that... What's it mean, right? If you know the word, then you know the story. I'm afraid that I don't. It's a teaching tool usually for piano players, but Jin liked the idea that a lesson could exist as art. I get that, but why does it keep coming up? Because that's what the Anunnaki are all about. 
Becoming better piano players? No. Advancing. Evolving. Each life is a lesson. Each stage of human development is a lesson. We need to learn to perfect, to demonstrate. Demonstrate to whom? Jin calls them the testers. Supposedly we're being watched by advanced beings. Aliens? Aliens, space worms, giant monsters and lab coats, I don't care. If you don't care, then... Why belong to Spide? Yeah. Because I may not believe we're being watched, and frankly I don't care, but it's time for humanity to grow up before we wreck everything. That's all Sonny wants, in his own way. How did you meet Sonny? Back when I was in Egypt the first time, he found me. Somehow he already knew my name. How? I'd been talking about the Anunnaki quite a bit. He was very excited to talk to me about it. That must have been an odd conversation. He thought I knew something he didn't. He was heartbroken when I explained I didn't actually believe in aliens. I felt bad for the guy, took him out to lunch. We got to talking about antiquities. Then, after a solid 15 minutes of convincing him that writing his name on the Sphinx was a terrible idea, he gave me a map and said, call me if this leads somewhere good. It did. A few years later, I joined Spied. I keep finding relics. Is that what Sonny is looking for? Yes. Well, why not find them himself? Because they're not just hidden. They're hidden in different ways. You're finding pieces that are hidden like clues, no doubt. Everyone else will find their pieces their own way. What are they for? Jin believes if we assemble all the relics hidden by the testers, that's what he calls them, then we pass the test and they'll come visit again. Do you believe that? No, but then again, the pieces are there. And he is finding them. Are you still hunting antiquities? Not at the moment. I'm back home in London. So all is well with the order? I'm pleased to report yes, thanks to you. But there is still a lot of work to be done. I'm starting a subset of Spide for discovering the wonders actually on the planet. No disrespect to space, I just like to be a bit more grounded. Talk to you later. Be safe, Nancy. Hi. Bye-bye. Bye. Haven't done that. should add something. I need all the panning supplies first. This looks like a good place to dig for gold. All right, dirt. Time to find a sluice. Time to get this sand in the water and pan for gold. Let's find some gold. There's gold in that there pan, ha. Huh? Better take it. What is going on here? Is Sunny on some sort of mission?
Hi. Goodbye. Bye. Hey, you. Bess wants me to ask you if you're seeing anyone right now. Well, right now, I'm seeing you. You know what I mean. Hmm. So, I'll say you gave me an odd look. Mysterious. Downgrading to weird. Odd works. Talk to you later. Cool, cool. Is there anything I should be doing? You can go to the Puzzle Palace and try to boost our score. I would rather not. Sorry, but that sounds awful. I'll let you go. Goodbye. Hey there. I'll let you go. Okay, bye. Uh, what? How are you holding up in the rankings? Ask Lena. I'll let you go. Nice talking to you. How goes it? Goodbye. Bye. Yes, now to place us on the stand at base camp. Haven't done that. You're watching Pacific Run New Zealand. This season has been full of surprises, but this stage delivers on the what? Like none before. Team Tui has actually won a stage. The other contestants can still work for second place, but after this, their spirits must be broken. They were just beaten by Best Marvin's team, and in another told you so case of cheaters never win, Team I Swear We Didn't Do Anything, Amora Cora has been eliminated for cheating after they were caught on camera trying to counterfeit their own medallions. Points for creativity, but elimination for cheating. It's the end of the road for Team Kiwi. I can't believe we're winning. I see the appeal of this stuff now. I want to win everything. We're not quite there yet. Let's go win more things! Why are you so into winning the contest? Because nothing is going well for me. I need to prove I can do something right. You've had a rough time since you've been here. It's a blip on the radar. It's been longer than that. Well, how so? George has had all of these opportunities. So have you. I mean, that's great. I'm honestly, genuinely happy for both of you. I just don't know what I want. I don't know if I understand. Me neither. Shouldn't I have some big life plan? Everybody else does. It will come to you. What if it doesn't? It will, but in the meantime, if you want to win, we will win. I do. It's silly, but I do. Consider it done. Talk to you later. Get out of here, you old so-and-so. Uh, what? Goodbye. Talk to you another time. Can't go in there now. What's up? Later. See you later. Oh, no, she absolutely Lena seems to boss you around. Is that a fair assessment? I just need motivation. Yo, Sonny, I cracked that code. Any words for the competition? Nancy Drew, you just woke up a cave full of dragons, girl. That know-it-all past question-asking Rue better get right out or I'll set her right. At Pacific Run... You seem like a strong, silent type. Do you have a girlfriend? Um, what? All right, then. This never happened. 
Check. Hey, you. Talk to you later. Bye. If I can light all of the grid sections, I might be able to get the power back on. Still have to do that. I need to get a fire going to see what's on that wall. I need to find and fill in the symbol listed. Sunny was here, and now my medallion isn't. This can't be part of the game. What is Sunny up to? This must be what Kiri was after. Wait a second. Whoa, I bet this spells something out. I promise, I had no idea. No one else got this mission, just me. Why? I don't know what you're talking about. You're lying. You're not even supposed to be here. That's not true. You and me, we're the same. Why do you say that? We can destroy each other. That's dramatic. Tell the odds my way, we'll stay cool. Did that. Haven't done that. That's done.
Nancy Drew. I found your note. You need to give me one straight answer about what's going on here. Okay, just one. Only one. Did you take my medallion? You asked for one straight answer, and I agreed. This is not the one you want. You're not being very helpful. I was hoping you'd take point on the helping, and I'd focus on the getting help. And where does all this help lead? You'll see. Go beat Kiri. Yeah, you better run. Bess, catch! Did we win? Carrie's gonna win. Wait, let's tally the score. And it's a tie. That means sudden death. What? How is there possibly more? You cheated! Time to unveil the final test. It's sudden death. Nancy versus Kiri. Winner take all. Teams must fill containers to match the arrangement shown in the display. Pay close attention to how many of each arrangement must be made, because every time an incorrect container exits the assembly line or you use the reset button, you'll lose 10 points. Each player has five tries to get each round right. Get it wrong five times and you get zero points for the round. The team who finishes with the most points wins. Are you ready? Get set, go! Nancy, you got this. Sounds good, Bess. Check. That's done. Keep up the good work.
There you have it. A surprise come from behind victory for Team Tui. As Nancy Drew lets no obstacle stand in her way. Two things are certain. Team Tui's upset will go down in Pacific Run history. And Sunny June will never work in this town again. Emergency. All crew alert. I'm taking over the airwaves. Team Tui, report to field. You're finally ready for that answer I promised you? Let's just say I'm beyond ready. Great! Grab a rope and join me in the caves. That's done. Did that. Did that. Looks like I can tie a rope off here. What is this? This is why I brought you along. To solve this puzzle? All right, well, what do I do? Um. Nancy, I figured out Sunny's blueprints. You'll find an odd device in one of the caves. Looking at it. Tell Sunny, top corner's green, bottom corner's blue. Good luck. I bet I need to fill in the rest of the board so that none of the pieces touch a piece of the same color. Right, I did it. Am I gonna regret pulling this lever? Well, here goes. Wanna hear a funny story? Whatever you're upset about, we can talk it through. Fine, I'll skip to the punchline. This is not a joke. We could die down here. You'll be fine. But, worst case scenario, if you die down there or something... That's not a remote possibility. Oh, hi, Sonny. Hi, Kiri. When you die down there, it'll be as much his fault as mine. There are other ways to get what you want. I played you from word one. You think you can psychoanalyze me? I just want you to think through what you're doing. No, you want me to feel differently. But feelings don't steer this ship, honey. What does? Making you pay for your betrayal. You won't get away with this. The cave was dangerous? I thought it was part of the show. See, that's what I'm going to say. And it's gonna work out perfectly for me. <sighs> We're stuck, aren't we? I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. Let me guess, those lights were the good news. Yeah. So 
what's next? Any great ideas to get us out of this cave? It's, uh, down there. I'm not falling for that. Oh, okay. Push! Ah! You pushed me in! I'm just sort of living in the moment. I'll be honest, this part was a surprise. Why did you bring us all here? Are you sure you wouldn't rather focus on the rafting? What? Aim for the lightning bolt looking thing. Avoid the thing that looks like a giant fang. Pass under the Minotaur's hand. No, wait. Horns. Pass under the Minotaur's horns. Turn right. Pass under a group of stalactites, not the fang kind. There's nothing here. There's nothing here, Jin! Sonny, calm down. I'm sorry, Nancy. I'm sorry I wrecked your life. Let your friend get hurt. Hey, you guys okay? Send help! Send what? Help! Say that louder. You gotta be kidding me. Help! Oh, hang on, I just... Uh, God, I can't... <sighs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. That was fun. Oh, w were you saying help? Oh, what's this? What is it? Do you see something down in the water? Not sure what. Well, it doesn't matter. It's too deep. No way we can get down there. That's it. What? This is my river. I can't swim. I sink. Like a gorilla. Wait, Patrick! <laughs> Uh, Sonny. How long has he been down there? I'm going in if he's not up soon. How many more people get hurt for this mission? I'm such an idiot. Maybe it's time to let go of your grandfather's stories. But he told me that him and me were special. That I wasn't just some kid. I was one of the Anunnaki. That's what I made myself believe. What about now? I'm not stupid. I never said you were. Is it okay that I wanted it to be true? Yes. Those stories he told me, that's where Sonny was born. That is not swimming. Is he walking? <coughs> I'm fine! Is there a plan for getting me back up? Never mind. Stairs. Guys, you gotta come check this out. Sorry I doubted you, Grandpa Jin. This is what Jin sent you to find? What is it? Well, Nancy, this is why I brought you along. Here's the final piece of the relic. Be careful. I think we only get one shot. Looks like I need to assemble all of the pieces first. Did that, did that. If I use Jin's comic and the notebook, I should be able to spin the rings to the correct alignment and unlock all of the pins. Got it. What is it doing? It's real. So, if the artifact is here, what exactly does that mean? There's always a piece of truth in the stories. It almost makes me not want to know where the story ends and the truth begins. Then why ask? It's in my nature, like it's in yours to believe. I don't understand any of this. Nancy! Bess, is that you? Guess what I'm doing, Nancy. What? Saving the day, that's what. Listen, I know you want to escape right away, 
but I've never saved the day. That's fine. You've earned it. I just want to enjoy it for a second. Okay, here's the rope. Dear Ned, I'm not allowed to tell you what happened at Pacific Run until the episode airs. So bye. <laughs> Love, Nancy. Okay, just kidding. You are now dating a reality show winner. Go Team Tui! After George was injured, Bess stepped up and did her best to help us take home the trophy. Once the real production crew arrived, Bess, George, and I worked with the show's editor and finally found the evidence of who cut the rope bridge. After a quick call to her agent, Kiri confessed. Sadly, it won't be the last we hear from her. Her newest show, Detained Diva, The Kiri Redemption, is set to air this fall. After putting his superior sinking skills to work, Patrick has decided to conquer his greatest fear. I hope for Lena's sake he doesn't get caught up in a rip current. He might just kick back and see where it takes him. Sunny sent Lena a few of Jin's books as a thank you for her help. For her, an unsolvable code might just be the greatest gift there is. Jamila is coordinating with museums in New Zealand to study the artifact we found. Sunny, I think, is more interested in following where it leads. I don't know if Sonny believes everything Spide teaches, but after his time in New Zealand, I do know he believes in Jin. He was searching for a reason to follow Jin's lead. I'm guessing he found it, since his parting advice to me was, I'm running away now. Please don't tell anyone which way I went. Winning the contest was just what Bess needed. She's back to being the best we all know and making friends right and left. George was soon well enough to move around a bit and got to join us on an exciting tour of New Zealand although she had a tough time keeping her eyes open. Guess how many counting sheep jokes Bess made? I don't actually know. I fell asleep trying to keep track. That's my story of being on reality TV. After talking to some former contestants, I guess our experience was pretty much exactly how it goes every time. Can't wait to see you. Love, Nancy. In ancient days of Greece long past, Hades searched for a queen to sit beside his darkened throne. On Mount Olympus, it was decided Persephone, the life of spring, now belonged to the night below. Demeter tried to save her daughter, but the seeds of deception had already been sown. Join us on our next adventure and escape from the Labyrinth of Lies.